Why do we do it to ourselves? I swear to God, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer must ask these players to come out, go 1-0 down, not play football for 20 minutes, and then turn the screw, turn it on, and then play some sexy, sexy football all the way up until the 85th minute, concede a scrappy, terrible goal from a corner, make it nervous for the last five minutes. But United, there three points, three vital points against Sheffield United. Who was your man of the match? What was your reaction to the game? Let me know in the comments below. Before I start, I want to say a big thank you to everybody over the last three months. I've been living in Ghana. This is going to be my last video, my last match reaction from Ghana. I fly back tomorrow night to merry old England and coronavirus and lockdown. I can't wait. And no sunshine. I can't wait. Might be lying about that. But anyway, I just want to say a big thank you for the last three months to everybody who's stuck around with the videos. It's been a tough year for everybody. It's been a tough year for me. And it, I've appreciated having you all here. But let's talk about the football. And those three... Got, there's plenty of talking points you can get from that game. The mistake from De Dean Henderson and the mistake from Harry Maguire, I think, at the start of the game. United's response with the three goals. Rashford with two. And then Martial scoring. The, 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 the turnaround at the end there. There's loads of standout points. But I think the overall point is... United win our game in hand. Or two, is it, I don't know whether that was a game in hand or not. I don't think it was. We, United win our games in hand. I think we've got Burnley and someone else. We go second in the damn league. Second. And that game there completely encapsulated what United are this season. Certainly away from home. First 20 minutes, just inconceivably poor. And against a team which is bottom of the league on one point that did not have a shot on target against Southampton in the last game that had only scored one goal from open play Scored from open play within six minutes. Now, Dean Henderson was certainly at fault for the goal. He should have just looked, cleared it. The man was in front of him. He saw, the, he saw the challenge. But Harry Maguire, man, you are the captain of this club. Dean Henderson is making his only his second start for United. Away at Sheffield, the place he spent on loan last season. He's going to be nervous. Why put him in that situation so early on in the game as a captain? Foolish from him. Idiotic, in fact. But Dean has to take responsibility because he made the mistake. Luckily, it didn't cost United anything. And he made a good save right at the end there. A save you would expect your keeper to make, but still a good save nevertheless. But that first 20 minutes, we were awful. Awful. Sheffield were pressing us. We cannot pass out from the back with the ball. Can we stop doing it, please? Because when we didn't do it, and Lindelof looked up and looked for Marcus Rashford on the shoulder of his defender, beautiful pass from Lindelof, great touch from Rashford and a fantastic finish when he got Rashford on an instinctive finish when he doesn't have time to think about it and he can just twat it that's when you want Rashford on the ball for the finish great goal because he missed a chance earlier it was offside anyway so that didn't really matter I suppose and then the second goal was arguably even more beautiful Paul Pogba with a sort of it kind of looked up a little bit before so he knew Martial was there but just the the, the shape on the ball was was beautiful Martial Somehow got round the goalkeeper. Don't really know what happened there, but Martial scoring. Yes, please. Both of those goals, sexy, sexy goals, and neither of them relied on passing out from the back with the ball. We just can't do it. Not with Maguire and Lindelof and Tellez and, and, and Shaw or, or Tellez and, and wan Bissaka or any combination of fullbacks. We're just not good enough passing out from the back with the ball. It's as simple as that. We try to do it, and it blows up in our face far too often. But then we do it against City the other week, and we were okay. It's weird, but that's what United are. You can't anticipate what United is going to turn up from one week to another and tonight showed that in abundance it shows it every single week but going into that second half I've not seen United really properly control a game like that for a while obviously we've got to take into account the fact that we're playing Sheffield United and they are bottom of the league with one point after 13 is it 13 games 13 games my god Sheffield United are going down goodbye but United turned the screw after that first 20 minutes, we got better and better and better. Better with the ball, better with possession, better with movement. It was beautiful. And that third goal encapsulated it. You see Popper on the edge of the box, shifting past two players, passing it through. Everybody was involved. Bruno, Martial, I think Greenwood. Ra beautiful goal. Arguably, you could say that Rashford was maybe a little bit lucky with the finish because it wasn't that good, but it squeezed under the keeper's arm. But it doesn't really matter. And nothing from that game really matters apart from the fact that United have three points. And United... It, this, I've said it on Twitter a few times and I'll say it in the video now. It just pisses me off. Really, really pisses me off the fact that United did not back Solskjaer with the right winger and the centre-back that we needed this summer. And I would argue a defensive midfielder. If we had those players in, 
we'd be right up there with the chance for the title. I think we do have a chance for the title because everybody does. United, City, Spurs, Chelsea, Leicester, Liverpool. There's so many teams that are capable at the top. And because the league is so inconsistent and it swings from week to week, from City drawing to West Brom, to Chelsea losing to Everton, to Chelsea losing to Wolves, it, you can't really anticipate anything. And I suppose the league really sort of, United's inconsistency is massively reflected in the league. Everybody's inconsistent this year. It's just that United, we can see it week in, week out. And it's that football that we show between the 20th minute and the 80th, real control dominance, not rushing the ball, passing in between players, bringing everybody into play. It's what you want to see. It's the sort of football that we know we're capable of. And it's the reason why we all get frustrated because we know we're capable of that, but we don't do it every week. It's frustrating, but I suppose that's what football is. You can't, I mean, you can have teams that play that every single week, but they are the best teams in the world. And United are certainly not one of those at the moment. But there was three points when we really needed it. And you've got to be positive. You really have to, because it's all to play for in the league this year. Because it looks like Liverpool, I think, it feels like Liverpool, sorry, are going to come into a good bit of form. It feels like they've... They've gone through a rough patch and, and you know, Van Dijk coming out and plenty of injuries and they felt sorry for themselves. Oh, the world's against us. But it seems like that game against uh, Spurs hopefully won't be a turning point, but it might be. And then maybe they'll start running away with it. But at this moment in time, United are in the title race. Everybody's in the title race. No one's running away with it. So that has to be what Solskjaer tells the players in the dressing room. That has to be the feeling that we, we're in with the chance here, lads. So let's do it. Absolutely. And that three points there against Sheffield was vital to not get three points against the team bottom of the league on one point would have been sort of curtains. It wouldn't have been curtains, but it would have really put a dent in that momentum. So let's see what happens next. But United there, three points, three beautiful goals. What was your favourite goal? Probably for me, the third one, although you could argue all three, certainly. Rashford with two goals. Probably got to get man of the match for that. Bruno still controlling and dominating. Even when he's not directly involved in goals, he's He's always involved in a build-up. He's just a man you can rely on to be in the right place to take that ball forward. And that transition from midfield to attack is really dependent on Bruno Fernandes. And I say that in a good way. Not like massively dependent in the wrong way, but thank God we've got Bruno. Let me know who your man of the match was in the comments below. As I said, my last video from Ghana, so I'll be doing this from rainy, cold England next. Can't wait for that. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new, take it easy. Thank <music> you.